so the topic for today is um uh what what got us to read the Gemma Doyle trilogy or the Great Terrible Beauty? Like what intrigued it? I think what like made us read it. I think that's it. Yeah, I just looked like 20 minutes ago for the thing, you know. Um, well, the first time I discovered it uh, was last no. It was like the end of October. 2007 to like the beginning of November um um I had a it was in my school library um it was on a shelf and it said books for girls teen girls and um uh, I saw it I saw the cover and it really that's the first thing that I like this cover is amazing I just love I love the I love her um corset, the lining, or the, I don't know, I think it's not a corset, it's like a, her underwear, I don't know, but I love the cover, um, and then, like, her red hair really got me in the whole, like, type thing, I look terrible from the side view, oh my god, I look terrible, um, and then the title, A Great and Terrible Beauty, beauty is one of my favorite words, and I love, and I was like, what's a great terrible beauty, you know? And, um, I re actually read it for a report, um, yeah, a, uh, a school report, a final exam project for U.S. literature, and I was so happy because, like, it said England, and I was like, no, wait, please let the author be, a, you know, uh, American, because U.S. literature, and she was, and from the moment... The first chapter caught my attention so much. I actually at first thought Gemma was kind of bitchy and moany and really annoying, but now I don't. So yeah, that's how I started reading the Gemma Doyle trilogy, is because of this cover and because it was amazing. It was amazing. It was very mysterious, I thought, like Gemma. Gemma's mysterious, so is the title, so is the cover, so is... It's very gothic, too. And then I saw a, uh, a delicious, elegant gothic, and I was like, ooh. Shivery with both passion and terror. I just, it's like, yes. And I didn't know what to think of her name at first, Gemma. I love that name now, though. I want to name my daughter that, actually, to be honest. So, yeah, that's what I think about this. For sure. So, I'm on 318 right now. But, yeah, and... I mean, I just, like, I read it in one day, so. And then I got the second one over break, and then the third one I got in February of this year. And I read it twice so far. I read all the books twice. And I just love them so much. I'm about to probably start them again. So, yeah, that's how I started the Gemma Doyle trilogy. Okay. Um... The movie, A Great Turbo Movie, everyone knows, is coming out, hopefully in 2010. <sighs> but I want you guys to, um, I want, I want either, I want actually Brooke and Flora, I want you to both do this. And, and we're casting new, we're adding new people to the GD4. So please join if you have a camera, because Heather and Casey have already auditioned, and Rachel. And you guys were really good, and, um, I really think you guys picked good characters. And I really, I think, Heather, you would make a good Falson. I thought it was Folson, but I guess you're right, it's Falson. Don't I think of it because, like, Owl? Fowl? Falson? Yeah. Kind of weird now. I'm gonna have to get used to that. Um, I think Casey, I liked Seer Kate. That was, uh, Searcy. That was a good choice. And then, um... Rachel, you want to be Gemma, but Kate is Gemma, but you, I don't know, you might be the replacement, you never know, so keep watching, keep in tune. Okay, back to my challenge now. Um, I want whoever, I want both Broken Flora to, um, I want to know your, I want to know what, like, 
who you really want to be casted, like, really badly. And I want to know what scenes you want to keep in the movie and how you would start out the movie. Because I know I would start out the movie with the India scene, with, um, although some people on IMDb were saying, like, have, like, Mary and Sarah Reese Toomes journal and then go to the snake where she's like, you can have this for your birthday. And Jim was like, no, ew. And, like, have that whole scene because, like, that is, like, a really important scene to have for a show. And then it goes to, like, three months later with her her brother and her in the carriage with her, like, black warning clothes on. I think that's a really good idea. Um, and I want to know how you guys, yeah, your casting suggestions, um, that you would love to see in any of the movies, either if they ever do any of the movies, uh, how it would begin and, like, certain scenes that you would love to see in there. Because I know for sure I would love to see, um, what scene? I love, um, I just, I don't know, for some reason I love the scene with, uh, Gemma, where she stands up for Anne and everything. When, like, someone, they accuse her of taking her ring, and I really like that scene. So, yeah, that is my challenge for both of you. <laughs> because I don't have a die with me to roll. And I want both of you to do it, because I like to see, like, your contrast and com your com comparisons and contrasts of what to put in and what you're casting. And please don't say Rachel Hardwood or Alexis Spladell. Please. 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 And I want unknowns, by the way, for casting for the four main girls. And I want Juno Tibble for Cicely. She's perfect for that role, by the way. So yeah, that's what I want to know. No Rachel Hardwood, no Lex Bledel, Ramola Gary. I love Ramola Gary, but she's too old. So, like, I want new refreshment ideas. I want, like, Miss Moore and Virginia. And, like, Tom Doyle. And, like... Simon, and Miss McCleathy, and Miss Nightwing, and, like, Elizabeth, and Martha. Kartik, yeah. I don't know if there's really... The only person I can think about who acts is Avon Jogia. Um, Brennan Magia. That guy from the Katy Perry music video, Hot and Cold. And Eugene Batter. Eugene Batter is actually how I imagine Kartik. He's in my Karma video, if you haven't. It's on my channel, Beauty Ventures Roses. And I he's exactly how I imagine Kartik. Like, I... Yeah. Unfortunately, he's not Indian, although he does look Indian in some of his pictures. And he is, like, European, and he cannot act, I don't think. And he's a little bit old. Too bad. He's still hot. Although, Ava Jogia, he's getting really hot. Yeah. Yummy. Just JK. Okay, bye. See you guys next week. And... Oh, by the way, Brooke, I have a question. Uh, when are we going to pick girls? That's my question. Girls. The new. The three new. Four new. I don't know if we're going to have four or three. I think we're going to have four. Because, yeah, four. A replacement for Kate until Kate gets her video back. But then, I think it be like a wild card. Oh, and you know, we could have like a wild card. I think that'd be kind of fun. Maybe. Maybe we could. Well, bye everyone. I love you and thank you for watching us. We appreciate everyone who watches us and comments our videos and you guys are just awesome. I love you guys so much. I know you like all like really well too, which is really cool. It's good that we're a close-knit community. Well, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.